Hi friends, in this video, we are going to explore about margin collapsing concept in CSS. To explain this, I have created a simple page in which I have three span elements with class box. In the box class, I have used a width 100 pixel, height 100 pixel, a background color and display inline blob. Before going into the concept, I have to show you something. Let us preview this. We can see the boxes are displayed in a row. But why is there space between the boxes? We haven't specified any margin from where it is coming. Actually, this is coming from the structure of a code. If we restructure a code to make all spans are placed in the same row, these spaces can be avoided. Now there is no space. This seems to be weird. Let's get into the concept. I'm going to apply a left margin of 10 pixel. We can see the boxes are shifted 10 pixel towards the right. Now let me apply a right margin of 10 pixel. We can see there is a 20 pixel space between first and second boxes, also between second and third boxes. I'm going to change inline block to block so that boxes will be arranged vertically. Let me add a top margin of 10 pixel. We can see a 10 pixel space between boxes. Now I'm going to add a bottom margin of 10 pixel. But there is no change. Instead of 20 pixel, we can still see only 10 pixel space between the boxes. This is margin collapsing. Bottom margin of an element in the top gets merged with the top margin of another element in the bottom and higher margin wins. This is not a bug. This is purposely designed like that in CSS to avoid too much spacing. And please note that left and right margins will not be merged. I hope you understood margin collapsing. Please leave your comments and don't forget to subscribe this channel. Thank you.